Find yourself in the Beachview area of Pittsburgh? Check out the official pizza of this show, Slice on Broadway, sharing an abnormal obsession with pizza we can relate to. Check them out at SliceOnBroadway.com and tell them this show sent you. Come on, come on, spit it out! God, yeah! <laughs> Wait a minute, so you mean you have been faking for 20 years? Mm -hmm. And it was all for a gag? Yep. That's... Awesome! <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Internet. Today is August 12th, 2014, and this is the Rambling Movie Minute, where we talk about everything movies from the week before, current, and those still yet to come. On today's show, we're going to talk about favorite Robin Williams movies. We're going to hit up on DC, Coppin' Out, and uh, Turtles. There's always Turtles. Oh, yeah, there is. Mm-hmm. I am uh, Rambling Mango, Malango. <laughs> that just that was a nice run on tenants. I am located in Pittsburgh, and also in Pittsburgh we have the great Sorgatron. I'm here ready to talk movies. I got a couple. I had a good movie Sunday, including I tried a new service, Malengo, that uh, we'll mention. I know you're very familiar with later in the show. All right, nice. And we also got Mike from New York. How's it going? Oh, uh, it's going good. I got my my friend, my new friend Harley Quinn, just hanging out. Nice. She's looking very uh, excited to be on the show. Oh, she's thrilled. <laughs> uh, trailer for the week. Um, I saw during a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie, uh, Dumb and Dumber 2. So, first of all, it's kind of weird that that trailer even came up for Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles because I thought, well, I'll get into that later. Anyway, so we got that um, that trailer. And the person I, I actually went with a coworker, a couple people to see that during our uh, hangout and um the one buddy he was just cracking up like he thought it was the funniest thing on earth and i'm beginning to think like maybe it's just not my humor i did not find it funny it was almost like okay they're just reaching for stuff here maybe i'm just getting old but you know that's me i was not impressed by that trailer at all i would love to, i should ask my brother my uh just going into college brother if you would think that movie was funny. What'd you guys think of it? Uh, it's more the same, you know, it, it's, uh, it, it definitely looks like a dumb and dumber movie. I, I appreciate this one. I think more than the crappy prequel with different actors that they tried to do. Um, you know, it just seems like it's forever. Like, yeah. I hate these like 20 year later sequels, you know? Um, but I don't know. I'm not going to see it. It's I'll, weird. I'll catch it later. It's targeting to our our age. Oh yeah. Oh completely because like I was telling you in the pre-show like the Jim Carrey movies around that era the uh remember remember we had Dumb and Dumber Mask and Ace Ventura all three of which ran cartoons at Saturday morning simultaneously. Yeah. You know like that's the Jim Carrey machine that was the 90s and that humor um and and I don't know if that really carries over. Like, are we going to see an Ace Ventura three? You know, at this point, uh, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, we'd see. Well, we've seen a mask sequel with uh, what? Jeez, uh, what's what, yeah, Jamie Kennedy. Thank you. Uh, so I, I don't know. It, it, we'll see. You know, it's kind of cool to see him do kind of an old school Jim Carrey, um, especially weird after just seeing Kick Ass two with him. So yeah. the years have not been kind to Jeff Daniels. No, absolutely not. Have not been kind. He's awesome in Newsroom. I mm. recommend that to anybody, any day. That's an awesome series. But I don't get this. So with that, moving and on. Apparently, like, just judging by the trailer, it looks like they're going to account for the 20 years. <laughs> with the Wait. worst gag ever. Yeah. yeah. Um, also heard, and... I don't care if this is a spoiler. The uh, kid from the first movie, the blind kid that had the bird, is apparently going to be in this in in the sequel. Oh jeez. Yeah. So um, this is going to be callback crazy. Uh huh. So in other uh, words, if you haven't seen the first Dumb and Dumber, you will likely not understand eighty percent of the jokes in Dumb and Dumber Two. Yeah. 
That's rough. Hey, so this weekend in movies, right? Teach Me Ninja Turtles surprisingly swept the board. Mm -hmm. Well, I wouldn't say swept the board, but they came in projected almost 20, I want to say 25 million more than people thought they were going to. They pulled in about 65.5. Guardians pulled in about a respectable 42, but I thought it'd be a little higher. Into the Storm, <laughs> the uh, basically our Tornado Twister movie, uh, pulled in about 17.3. Um, yeah, I don't know. I, yeah. I, I actually asked uh, a guy who has a son. He took his son to go see this movie. And I, I asked him, I was like, so what do you think about our childhood being ruined? And he was like, well, you know, it was different, but it was entertaining. Mm -hmm. And I kind of sat there and I didn't know how to respond. <laughs> we were talking about the Ninja Turtles. One, I, you know, about them kind of underplaying Ninja Turtles. I looked at times at certain theaters and certain theaters had twice as many Into the Storm dates uh, show times as Ninja Turtles and Ninja Turtles of course had uh, a lot of times 2D and 3D uh, showings um, I think it's very much Blango. I, I, I guess you, you're not much of a Turtles fan growing up are you no I was you I were was okay fan. okay yeah. well, hey, that's why I'm kind of surprised that you're 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 not digging on this one so much I loved it you know I thought it was great I, I you know it maybe maybe it's just lowered expectations coming off of Transformers but I thought they hit everything they needed to no it's not very deep uh, um, but I think I, it had it had everything I could have wanted from from a CG mixed action uh, Ninja Turtles movie. You know, it had the right kind of level of humor. I don't mind the new take on them so much. The origin story, the origin story has been changed. I don't know how many times just along the cartoon. Uh, and it sounds like I'm guessing this is closer to what the uh, the the current cartoon's doing. I haven't seen nope. it yet. No, nope. not at all. Um, nope. But, nope, but the current cartoon is way better. Oh, well, yeah, of and, course and it's and way like, better. They can on, flesh things out a bit more. Origin story, though, like even though they've tweaked the origin story, this one was way off course. This was just, this wasn't anywhere near like what the other ones have done. That's is is that really is that really a problem though? All right, well, it, I, for me, this is like if they redid Spider Man again mm -hmm. and Uncle Ben was alive. <laughs> Really? <laughs> Kinda, really? Yeah. A little bit. Really? No. A little bit. Like, all right, Aunt May died and Uncle Ben's alive. No, no, no. Yeah, no. I agree. This wasn't good, Mike. Well, no, it, it wasn't bad. It wasn't bad. I was expecting the worst. It wasn't bad. It's light years better than Turtles 3. Mm-hmm. And I'd argue it's probably better than the TMNT animated one. But I don't know. There are just some things about it that bothered me. I read this great article. I should have freaking saved it for our show. Um, it was talking about, like, I actually read two articles. But one of the things that – some of the problems that I was having were just, like, very, like – I don't know. It was, like, just looked over. Like – I mean, we already discussed the mutant thing in the alien situation and the fact that, you know, Michael Bay, which I will say Michael Bay was not the director. He was the producer. But and, I and that's blame, another problem. And you can tell he's not the director in this one just by the feel of the thing. Yeah. I still blame him for a lot of stuff, though, because, like, I, I think it was his idea for the for them to be aliens. And then, like, with the backlash, you could quickly see that they went to we're going to try and explain this. Like, as quickly as possible. Like, of course they're not aliens. They're turtles. I didn't like April. I, I thought, um, uh, what's her face? Megan Mega Fox. Fox. Megan Fox. I thought she would, I, I don't know why she played it so dumb. I remember April being a lot smarter, brighter in the cartoons. Like, they, they just made, Megan Fox played the character so ditzy. All right, my biggest gripe, without getting too much into it, well, I'm probably going to get into it because it, it annoyed me. My biggest gripe was I could get by the fact that they made these these giant turtles, right? Mm -hmm. I even yesterday I even looked at some pictures of turtles, and I could even the fact that of how they could explain like, okay, they've mutated, they've grown, and this is what they could look in a realistic world. I got past that. I did not get past 
Michelangelo and and Donatello's gear. It eliminates the whole point of them being ninjas. What? When, when Michelangelo well, was walking around with this chain and like all of this like hippie gear, and you got Raphael glasses, you got the cheesy Leonardo with the like New York stick, like hey, this is where this is where we're from. And then you got Donatello with the Ghostbuster backpack and the glasses with no ears that are somehow saying, Oh my gosh, these flaws were just sticking out at you, Mike. <laughs> I loved it. I loved it though. I love that they were, they were personalized and there was more, uh, you know, I, I, I said this to Mike last day on the hangout. I'm like, imagine that you had three identical brothers. Wouldn't you want to make sure you stuck out a little bit more from each of them? And not to mention you're living in the sewers and everything you own is just trash that other people have thrown out. Exactly. So, I mean, I, I understand, like, I, Donatello's backpack was the only thing I took really issue with because he never really used it. It didn't, no, it, did. it didn't seem functional No. on any level. Like that's that, I think that was my only issue with it because otherwise like Leo looked fine. Raph looked fine. You know, as long as you, uh, from the neck down, they, they all looked great, but, but from the neck up, it still looked very odd. It did but, look um, odd. I have to say, as as much as I wasn't a fan of how the turtles' heads looked, Splinter looked ten times worse. Oh yeah, Splinter was a mess. <laughs> like <laughs> Splinter, Splinter, like I don't know how, like what book he found. Like if he found a book in the sewer of Asian <laughs> stereotypes, he somehow fit all of them into his person. <laughs> Every single one of them, like. At some point, I was just ready for him to do, like, the Kill Bill mustache twitch. Like. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, how about the fact that, I mean, I didn't. When did they become invincible to bullets? <laughs> oh, that, it, was the, it was their shells. No, it no, wasn't. No, no, it wasn't. <laughs> if it was their shells, totally fine with it. Raphael took a straight bullet, a couple rounds of bullets to the chest, and, and then the he Superman flexed, goes. and then he flexed, and the bullet shells came bouncing off of him into the foot soldiers. Oh, uh, and why? Which, by the way, um, th this isn't really a spoiler. Why aren't the Foot Clan ninjas? I know. Explain that to me. They're ninjas with guns, man. They're they're no, no, they're no, SWAT no, they ninjas. ninjas. <laughs> they were not ninjas. They were mercenary. Yes. They were a mercenary troop. It was Expendables 4. Uh. <laughs> it was Expendables 4 in that literally they uh. were expendable. And I'm pretty sure Leonardo killed someone. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he did. Uh, the one, the... He, threw, he threw one of those guys through a moving subway window. <laughs> I don't know if if you got. I know you've been to New York, so I don't know if you have been, Malengo. But if there is a train on an express track zooming by the stop you're at, and someone gets thrown through that glass, they're done. They are not going to have a good day. Hey, man, they could have. They could have looked like this with the uh, old '90s version. I would prefer that. Oh, I would prefer that. I would prefer a somehow gang of unruly, thieving teenagers who somehow know martial arts. I would prefer that. Or, hell, robots. Why not robots? Wow. Yeah. Um, should, we, should, we get, should we get spoiler zone about this a yeah, little bit? Okay. All right. Um, you are entering another dimension. A dimension of sight and sound. A dimension where one of the lines spoken in Japanese made me and Sorg squeal like little girls. Little bit. You are entering the spoiler zone. There, there were so many... L-E power. S-B-O-I-L-E power. Um, there was enough in this movie throwing back to uh, one of the original movies and the cartoon. That line you mentioned in the spoiler zone uh, tonight, where Shredder just blurts out, tonight I dine on turtle soup. I, yeah. yes. I was the only one in the theater that stood up and applauded that. <laughs> <laughs> only one. 
Yes. Uh, there's a, I, I, I kicked out a, uh, an Easter eggs thing. Uh, I also, uh, Miss, Missy and I both like stopped and looked at each other when I said, yeah, we were go- to think we were going to, uh, uh, experiment on rabbits. Yeah. <laughs> for those that know Usagi Ojimbo, for instance. Uh, um, so the story, I, and I know somebody had the question, is Krang in this? Is uh, Roxanne and Bebop in this? No, they're not. But every good turtle story I've read starts with just Splinter. Mike, do you agree with that? Oh, yeah, yeah. No, I didn't expect any other mutants. Yeah. I didn't expect Krang. I expected maybe a human version of Baxter Stockton. Yeah, I kind of hoped. That's it. I kind of hoped, although I think we we saw last night that uh, maybe he was in it, uh, kind of unaddressed potentially. Well, on IMDb, someone is credited as being Doctor Baxter Stock. Okay, so and he could have been one of the random doctors in the flashbacks too. And, and uh, the origin story uh, that I know you guys probably have a problem with is the fact that uh, April's father was in in involved in the creation of the turtles. Actually, and, that's not the aspect I have an issue with. What? Well, okay. Well, what's your problem? I, I, I'm actually fine with that. I thought that was a great way to tie it in because I, I really actually like that part of it. Mm-hmm. My biggest issue is that uh, the names Hamato Yoshi and Oroku Saki not mentioned. No, no, no Hamato Yoshi mentioned at all in this. And I'm wondering if that's something that will turn into a fleshed out backdrop as we get into the second and third movies. But don't you find it weird that Shredder is such a, you know, a very, like, they didn't do much backstory in the Shredder at all. He's a prominent role. Like, he's a... Oh, I think they did. Oh, I think they definitely did. The whole, like, talk about the Warlord, and that's what they're doing in New York City. I think that is your backstory of of the Shredder. There's no reason for the Shredder to inherently hate the Turtles or Splinter. Yeah. Well, he's in. He's in. Well, he's in the way. They're in the way. What more is there? And 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 they're in the uh, way he, more before he realizes who who they came from. I would consider that like a very or sort a very loose end story plot. Okay. Because it what it does is it causes this inherent issue of who are they targeting? Who are they targeting this movie to? And that's a topic that came up a lot of places. Are they talking it to us? Children? Who? Who's the demographic? Children. When you go, when you go see this next movie, yeah, it's definitely children. It, but well, in the end, violence? same thing with Transformers, though. Because um, everything they do is you have a bunch of... You have uh, Transformers killed off and brought back, just like in the old days, because you want to sell more Transformers. You have new style Ninja Turtles, way new style Ninja Turtles, because you want to sell new Ninja Turtle toys. Now they can sell the Ninja Turtle movie toys uh, just like uh, alongside their cartoon ones, just like they did back in the 90s. I don't know if Ninja... I don't know if Transformers is marketed to children. It is in the long run. I, it's it's Hasbro. I, it's it's I, they're selling toys. And half the trailer is Megan Fox posing with her ass in the air on a motorcycle. That's not marketed to children. That is I'm not. sorry. Megan the first Fox. one, maybe. Mm-hmm. The first one, I'll grant you. But anything after that was not marketed to kids. I don't. I do not agree with that. And if they wanted to market this Turtles movie towards children. They should have had it more like the cartoon as opposed to less like it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because, I mean, the cartoon, you've already got <clears throat> April, Casey, the Krang, um, Shredder. He's got new mutants with him. He has Karai, who's been established as Splinter's daughter. Like, Karai was completely wasted in this movie, in my yeah. opinion. Like, she was just a chick with red hair who happened to be working for maybe shredder like we never established who cry was working for mm-hmm. yeah it yeah i mean i don't know for what it was like if people found it entertaining it's say good for them it's going to be hard for me to go see a second a second one of these and i would not be surprised like if it's if this goes the way of all of our other reboots i wouldn't be surprised if they're like okay we're going to redo it. 
No, no, I don't think so. I think they're dedicated no, to the three of them. Sixty-five million says they're dedicated to a trilogy at this point. Um, I think they're going to do fine. I'm looking forward to the second one. My only, my only complaint is all the things you said, and it was only an hour, hour and forty minutes. Versus, we're having the Marvel movies that feel super fleshed out. We have the Transformers movies that. Well, okay, it's another thing, but they're weighing in at two and a half hours. Why isn't why wasn't this a two and a half hour super epic Ninja Turtles movie? Because it was marketed to kids, and kids can't sit for that long. Exactly, exactly, and I think that's the but biggest issue that's there. What, that's why I'm but saying the truth. The cartoons marketed for kids, and I love the shit out of the cartoon. The one, the the, the mid two thousands cartoon is the best thing I've watched, and is the best iteration of the turtles that I've I've experienced so far. Have um, you seen the new one? I have not seen. I have not had a chance to see the new one. No, I. But it's, I, I, I hear it's really good. The new one is better. I, I, and I can't wait to try it out when as soon as I can <coughs> find a way to do it. You know, um, that's not weird. You know, I'm not. Fun, I'm not sitting there episode to episode on their on Nickelodeon.com. You know, um, <laughs> with, with the stupid commercials and and everything. Uh, but no, I, I, it's it's. More than I expected from one of this, I enjoyed it thoroughly. I will be getting it on DVD. Um, I will be going first weekend for uh, Ninja Turtles, new Ninja Turtles 2 or whatever it the is. Secret the, the Secret of the Ooze 2, you know. <laughs> You know, I which new and, new and we do new vanilla ice returns. And for, oh, yeah. I love it! I love it if he did. It's better than that stupid Wiz Khalifa song. Um, yeah. yeah. Um, but can we talk about one very important thing about the Ninja Turtles movie? Hmm. Um, there was a big cameo in it mm-hmm. from the plot from Amazing Spider-Man. <laughs> <laughs> there was a huge cameo right at the end. Um, they even used the same building, yep. like like the same exact plot like okay we have this virus that will be spread in new york city via the one tall building that isn't the empire state building right outside times square i think they might have even used recycled footage from amazing spider <laughs> like just just cgi it up make it daytime uh... instead of night um i don't know Part of that kind of bothered me. <laughs> just like but, I, I just like, oh, all right, this is when we're getting like, where's Peter? Is is Peter gonna help stop the lizard? Yeah, but still, I and I'm, I'm looking at this article that you posted in there, Malengo, and I love that the one of the best things was the uh, elevator scene, uh, which you oh, can yeah. find. Look, just look agree. for the elevator official clip for uh, Ninja Turtles, uh, and you'll see what I mean there. Uh, nice, some nice beatboxing action. It was fun. It was a blast. Don't take it too seriously, guys. It's giant it talking fun. turtles. Was, was I never said it wasn't fun? fun, but it's not the best iteration of Ninja Turtles. No, no, not at all. no. no. That's I fine. even thought like the fight at the end was kind of weak too. Like I, whatever. All right, I'm beyond that. <clears throat> oh, and the, the movie physics of April somehow being able to hang on to that steel structure as it's falling. Oh sure. Oh yeah. Sure. A little bit bullshit on that. <laughs> yeah, I was just like, wait a minute, they just like, landed. A little bit. Like the turtles. Okay, I get that. That's fine. They're mutants, you know. <clears throat> They're pumped up with adrenaline, literally. Yeah. So, okay. Yeah, I buy that. But April, really? Yeah. Yeah. But... Like, like Megan Fox looks like you can. Snap but let's her. let's be fair. The the uh, suspended wire scene from the last Transformers movie was a little nutty too. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, but we. But I assume so Mark Wahlberg is inhuman. I again in a movie where you have giant CG Ninja Turtles that are fighting, I think you just let that out the window, and Megan Fox yeah. is. I know, but I feel I feel it had to be mentioned at yes, least. Yes, yes. Um, but also, uh, can can we give can we give huge props to Will Arnett? Oh my God! Yes, the best oh, yeah. one, one of the best parts of the movie. Did you guys catch the uh, Arrested Development joke? I, I I read about it afterwards. I kind of feel like this whole movie was just an homage to throwbacks. Like, yeah, oh yeah let's, let's just let's hit up on that and they'll the, do that. The Raphael and <sighs> Batman jokes. That that I loved it. I mm-hmm. love the Raphael as Batman jokes. Um, Donatello saying their cave is their Hogwarts. You know what? You, you, and, and and Ninja Turtles. You also got to remember, Ninja Turtles came from a parody. It was a parody of like uh, Daredevil and and something else. You know. Yeah. I mean, so 
really you can't take anything seriously with this so um if you look real closely you can see the utrobs utrons i can't remember what they were called uh yeah. the krangs basically uh so it looks like they might be popping up here soon so can't wait can't wait for the sequel already paid for 2016 let's get into non-spoiler zone what else uh what else do we have going on there malengo well we definitely saw that uh dc decided to change its date for superman versus oh Batman. man you know, called it characters. they flinched they flinched. They it. We really, <laughs> although, although they did, they did decide, they did decide to drop it right on my birthday. So I'm appreciating that. Oh, there you go. I mean, Lord, Lord, that's just... Lord, be wary about movies you're excited for coming out on your birthday. I'm sure I have a wrestling show <laughs> no, to do. I always no, do. I, I speak from experience on this. The movie I was so excited for that came out on my birthday. Dragon Ball Evolution. Oh. <laughs> mhm. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. I, I apologize. I, I know. I was so Man. excited for it. It was I, the first movie I've ever gone to see by myself because I'm like screw it, it's my birthday. I'm going to see <laughs> Yeah, you can't really get a party together for that one, huh? Yeah, I got no. I'm going to see Goku no. fight Piccolo, and then I walked out like, well, at least Emmy Rossum was hot. First birthday ever. Um, yeah. So you're saying I shouldn't do the full like like movie theater birthday party? Um, how confident are you in DC? Uh, I liked Man of Steel. Uh I would I would have gone with I liked Batman. <laughs> <laughs> I would have gone with, I like Ben Affleck. You know what? I think uh, Man of Steel was more true to the original source material than the last Dark Knight series. Dark Knight oh. series was oh. good. Whoa. Oh. What? Oh. 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 oh my really? gosh. Really? Oh, yeah. Jeez. How often in the comics have you read that Superman completely annihilates two cities? Yes. Yeah. Without caring. You don't have CG. No. Well, actually. Mm. Actually, um, <laughs> Superman is literally the, he can fight in space. Mm -hmm. He knows this because he flew to the ship. Yeah. Or to a desert or anywhere else. Yeah. Like, let's just Dragon Ball Z it. Let's go. Goku would have gone somewhere else, Mike. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Goku would have gone to Namek or the plant or the Kai <laughs> planet. He would have gone somewhere. Oh, geez. Or not to mention that he fights. Um, a far superior bred to be warrior and then decides to snap his neck yep. in a breath. Like, okay, could now it's over. Cover his eyes. <laughs> could, could he have just covered Zod's eyes? <laughs> like, peekaboo, you can't see anymore. Like, Oh, geez. All right. Uh, we will touch on the note that Robin Williams passed away yesterday. Uh, favorite Favorite uh, Robin Williams movies? Joe. I got a soft spot for the Mrs. Doubtfire, of course. Yes, definitely. It was a run by fruiting. Um, I'm, I'm a big fan of Jumanji. That, Jumanji's good. I'm going to go with Aladdin. Yeah. Uh, I mean, Aladdin. Aladdin always runs neck and neck with Lion King as my favorite Disney movie. Can I can I also honorable mention for any time he showed up on like a, a Tonight Show or something like that? Because or whose lines it anyone when he Oh uh, because when, when any interview segment he had him on, you knew <laughs> there was no control, he was gonna go nuts, and I was in stitches every time. And and I, I also have two more honorable mentions. Uh one for a movie probably no one's seen, one hour photo. Where he was, like, oh, I saw that. Mm, yes. Oh, really, really good. It showed like his range and everything. But I would be remiss if I didn't mention Death to Smoochie. Mm -hmm. Oh, Ray yeah, he was. Rainbow Death Randolph. Smoochie. Rainbow Randolph. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, there are. Oh, we'd also have to mention Hook, but yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Bangarang. You know what? It's weird because I've always <laughs> heard Hook uh, mentioned with dis disregard. Over the years, until yesterday, like yeah, I thought really? nobody liked Hook. I thought oh, I was no, the only I'm one, Hook. and then Hook's and then amazing. everybody came out of the closet and says, "Dude, I'm watching Hook." I was like, "Really? Dude, no, Hook I, is awesome." Maybe maybe I'm just running with the wrong crowd. 
but... the wrong crowd. Because <laughs> I loved it. Rufy. I loved it. Oh! Yeah. Um, also from the chat room, uh, Wheel says he loved Miss Doubtfire and the TV show Mork and Mindy. Not familiar with Mork and Mindy. I, I didn't get to see much of it. I used to, that was when I uh, couldn't fall asleep when I was a little kid. I used to watch episodes of Mork and Mindy. Mm-hmm. That was that was a great Nanu Nanu. <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice. Nice. All right. Uh, so this weekend, we have some crazy movies going up against each other. I'm kind of curious to see how this weekend actually plays out because the, the definite movies coming out this weekend are, uh, what was it, The Giver, um, Let's Be Cops, and Expendables 3. I feel like Expendables 3 is going to pull up a lot of this stuff, but it's still going up against a third week of Avengers and I mean, Guardians. With the, or Guardian, sorry. And with the success of Turtles, I mean, I I don't see Turtles pulling in even half what they made. But no. then again, I was surprised that they even made what they made. Mm-hmm. So uh, no, I think Turtles will probably be second to Expendables three this week because there's no other kids movies. Yeah, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. there's no other kids movies out right now, so wouldn't be surprised if Turtles still has another big weekend. But The Giver is one of those teenage books again. And, I mean, as we saw with that, the last one that blew up the box office, The Fall of Our Stars or whatever that was called. Yes, but The Giver is a different movie than Fall of Our Stars. You have to compare it more to, like, uh, the Hunger Games movies or Divergent. Okay. The so, Fall of Our Stars is like a Nicholas Sparks movie, basically. Yeah. All right. Well, yeah, that'll be interesting to see what goes on this weekend. Um... So what we watched, obviously, uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Yep. I also got to see The Purge 2. How was that? Um, it wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. It also wasn't as good as I thought it was going to be. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, it, it was one of those movies to like get some extra stuff done. I think I was rendering something after lunch, so I just kind of left it going. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. I, I don't know how I'd recommend it. I'd say pick it up for a dollar at Redbox if you're bored. Mm-hmm. And speaking of Redbox, Sword, what did you watch this week? I watched Catching Fire because I was tired of seeing promos and not know what the hell was going on for the third one. Um, <laughs> so I'm like, screw it. I'm going to go to Redbox. I'm here at the grocery store. And a buck twenty-eight later, I got to watch Catching Fire. Uh, I, I really enjoyed it. You know, just... You know, it just is something to throw in and, and check out. Uh, I don't know if I want to. I'm I'm definitely not really keen on going to the movies to see Mockingbird part or Mocking Mockingbird? Mocking Jay Mocking Jay Part One. Uh, it's kind of yeah. that. I think we've talked about before that whole like, uh, yeah, you split the movies artificially. Um, F you. I'm going to wait. Uh, yes. Kind of like this whole Hobbit thing. Like, I think I want to catch up on all the Hobbit movies and then maybe see three because. I just think that's ridiculous. I mean, uh, wait, is, is it the same thing with The Hobbit? The Hobbit 3, or is this a part 1? The Hobbit is a three-part movie. It's a three-part movie, and it's one book. Okay, so I was angry it's that one book split. that they made an 80-minute cartoon for back in the... Yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> and and well, it was originally supposed to be two movies, uh, uh, Hobbit, and they split it yes. to three. So. That's, that's what was annoying about that one. Yeah. 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 I It's Harry Potter's fault. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's Harry Potter's. Un- I don't like saying that, but it's Harry Potter's fault. Yeah, but no, I really enjoyed but it. Harry Potter I, now, needed it. Now there's a lot of there's a lot of stuff in there. But now the trailers make sense to me after watching Catching Fire. Um, I sort of knew they were going to go back and do another Hunger Games sort of thing. I like the twist in there. Um, uh, no, it was. I, I see why people are into this. So, uh, yeah, really enjoyed it. And uh, Lenny Kravis, dude. Mm-hmm. But he's he's not there any Presumably, I, presumably, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. It's very it's know. very nineteen eighty four. You well, know? I don't know why I just said that. I read the book. <laughs> I was gonna say I'm like, um I I wasn't gonna say anything, but <laughs> Oh jeez. Uh, so I'm not talking right. to you guys about Hunger Games. I I haven't but, spoiled anything. I haven't yeah, spoiled I actually anything. I I don't think I spoiled anything. I'm just a, I'm just disappointed that like that after the second movie, that's why I just went to get the book because mm-hmm. I was like, this is stupid. Like, why would I want to wait through two movies to see the conclusion? I have to, to say, I've I've liked the movies better than the books. 
Oh, after reading the third book to see how it concluded, the movies have been better than uh-huh. the books. Mm-hmm. Also, that being said, I don't really know. I, I might say that the third book was better to read, or the, whatever book it was. The last book was better to read than I think. The, I mean, that's why probably why they're splitting it. But I don't know. I think it's going to be more fluff than anything. Yeah. <clears throat> but anyway, all right. Um, so I think I think that's it, right? Yeah. Uh, well, I, I also watched True Blood this week, but uh, that's just because it's a guilty pleasure of mine. And it's the last season. It is the last season. Yeah. I don't even know what I'm watching on television right now. And, oh, I'm going back through, uh, because of a podcast that we listen to, I'm going back through uh, The Shield. <laughs> that's, that's fun. I know which one. Michael Jack. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. Uh, so with that, uh, Mad Mike, where can we find you? Uh, you can find me at Mad Mike 4883 on the Twitters. And uh, if you like to hear me talk about things like wrestling, I'm on the Wrestling Mayhem show at roughly 9 p.m. on Tuesday nights on SilverTronMedia.com. That's right here. Like, like just, just keep watching. It's right here. It's right here. Just keep watching, right? Yes. <laughs> How about you, Sword? Uh, of course, all my stuff uh, that I'm making is over at SorgatronMedia.com and some stuff outside of that at Twitter.com slash Sorgatron if you want to see what I'm tweeting day to day, what I'm working on. Uh, so a little bit of everything. Nice, nice. And you can find me on Twitter at Rambling Mango. Also on my site, uh, that Rambling Review, where we post or I post a weekly comic strip based on the movies that we just saw. So there is one up for Ninja Turtles and them being very hood like in New York City. So go check that out and tell me how angry you are or how much you disagree with that i'm sure sword will disagree with that much Mm because he loved this movie i did he wanted to just hug it i did all the toys i did i was very very warm and i did stop and look at the toys (laughs) also join the conversation on our facebook group page which can be found at the rambling movie minute on facebook uh with that have a great movie weekend and uh until next week we'll ramble (laughs) 